Oh, look at that. That's right. Tonight, Cooley on the Dennis Ball Show. Cooley Rex will join us live from Jamaica to talk about his new album. And here's your host, Dennis Ball. That's right, Ball. Is the Dennis Ball Show is always serious. I don't know if we have even a soul in the chat room. I think we do because people are, are voting on the poll, which we have up here. But um, we are here, ballers. Greetings. Live on the or watching live or on the week replay. What is up? Georgia Constitution Media is in the house. What's up, Georgia Constitution Media? Your 15th anniversary? Congratulations. <laughs> Many more, Georgia Constitution Media. We are here tonight with. Cooley Ranks, live from Jamaica. Cooley, how are you doing, man? It's I'm doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. Where, where in Jamaica are you? I'm in Kingston, in Jamaica. Wow, it looks beautiful there at night. It's a beautiful place. Kingston, is that where Bob Marley is from? Yes, that is the, that is the capital of Jamaica. And so are are all the big studios there, like Studio One and things like yeah. that? Studio One, Jenkins, Anchor, Hotel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's, I think there's more studios than there are churches. <laughs> now, how, how many have you been? Ha, are, are they all operational? Like, are there any, like, museums or any of them museums or anything? Or? No, they're all operational. They're all operational that exist now. But no, they haven't, they haven't set up a museum yet. That's a good thing, but I actually spoke about that to someone about having them set up some kind of museum so that people could visit, you know? I mean, there really should be. If I went to Jamaica, when I go to Jamaica, which is going to happen at some point, um, I I would hope there'd be like a museum of Jamaican music that you could like visit. That would wouldn't you think something like that would be hugely popular, Cooley? Yeah, absolutely. But there is something that you can go to. There's a, um, a place called Alpha Boys Institute. That place. Um, for ska musicians and ska, ska enthusiasts, that place is like the Mecca because uh, that's the places that house the German, um, Yellow Man, uh, Johnny Osborne, a lot of the stars lived there as, as it was an orphanage at one point, but they were taught music theory by a nun over there. So it, that's how really? it's, yeah, it's, it's like the Mecca. Yellow Man? Yellow Man, uh, Don German, the trombonist, the scatterized yeah, powder Don court. Drummond, yes. Yeah, this is a this is a place that everyone was want to meet, and they do have um, I think they do have tours because I went there the other day, so they do have some tours that you can go and check it out. That is cool. What's up? We have some ballers in the house. What's up, Yo Ya? <laughs> What's up, Doc Doc? Is in the house, and um, Paper Bag Man. What's up? He's wishing Georgia Constitution Media a happy fifteenth anniversary. Georgia Constitution Media, did you get a cat and your daughter named it Dennis Ball? Please tell me that's the case. I think it is. I think it might be. Um, all right. So, Cooley, let's get down to business here. The reason that you're here and the great timing of this is that, like, last night, you released oh. your new album, Days Gone By. Yes. Yes, can... I have. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hello? No, go ahead. No, no, you said you were speaking. I'm excited to interrupt. It's, it, I listened to it twice today. All right, Cooley. So you can listen to it on all your streamers, guys. But if you go to Bandcamp, you, you, it's, it benefits the artist uh, directly. And you can often get cool merch and stuff there. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, so, Cooley, the, the record is slamming. Even the intro is slamming. Um <laughs> I have two questions for you. One, is vinyl coming? And two, did you thank me in the liner notes? <laughs> <laughs> There's still time, Cooley. <laughs> it just gave me. You know, you know, I have to thank, um, thank so many people who helped me uh, do this record. There's so many people that I haven't even listed. Um, I have to go through each individual track with you, yes. if you like. but it was so many there's so many people and yeah. it was completely it was completed during covid 
So, you know, we were swapping files back and forth with each other. So, yeah. yeah. So you really want to thank those guys because they actually really, really bent over backwards to collaborate with you musically. Absolutely. Absolutely. They made it happen. You know, I want to shout out the um, Doped Up Dollies. They helped me. Um, I want to I want to thank um, Lady Skaga of um, Stop the Presses. Um, Gilberto, Gilberto from, uh, well, I don't know, he's playing with the Toasters now. He's a trombonist over there. He did one of the tracks. Um, Nick from the from Pilfers, he actually did um, a track with me as well. Um, I want to shout out to uh, so many, so many, so many. And What song were the Doped Up Dollies on? What song were the Doped Up Dollies on? They're doing harmonies and backup vocals on Jenny, Jen, Jen. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's not actually featuring them, but it, they, I mean, they lended their voices to the project. So that's just as important to me. You know what I mean? Now, now I mean, that I know that, I'm going to listen to that one closely. I'm going to yeah. let me just comment on a couple of things. One, who's the poet that performs on the track My Surroundings? Oh, her name is Karen Gibson Rock. Can I tell you a story? Yes, please. Okay, so during COVID, um, you know, that I had some money. You know, you got a lot of extra money. I had. Um, a hard drive that I had that wasn't in operation for about I don't know 15 years or something like that, and um, I sent it in to see if I could retrieve the data, and that's one of the songs I got off of the data once they returned it back to me. So I went into the studio, um, I, I revised a few things. I brought in a musician, I brought um, a trumpet player, um, Kevin Bachelor, if he's from the Grand Concourse, um, former Scatterlights player, uh, played for. Um, Sugar Minot, um, Still Pulse. Um, Sugar just a... Minot? Hold on a yeah. second. Yeah. yeah. That is one of beginning. my favorite artists. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Kevin used to play for him from the beginning for a very, very long time. As a kid out of, out of college, he played for him. Wow. Um, Kevin, you can see Kevin all over. Kevin Bachelor is um, world renowned. He's, he's an amazing um, trump, trombonist and, an, and a credible, an incredible singer as well. So. Kevin came in, he, he knocked it out. And incidentally, he um did all of the trumpets on um from far, the Pilfer's record. He did all of the horn lines, everything. That was him, just him alone. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask and I and yep. I was like I bet that uh, the Pilfer's team yep. had a lot to that. do with making this a reality because you get tight yep. with those guys, you know how to work with them. Yeah. You know. Um so I loved, um, first of all, I thought that the interludes were good. Um, they're not always on records, Cooley, but I, I thought they actually added to the my enjoyment of the record. Thank um, you. And um, uh, like I liked the they are down, They're Down With Me interlude. I thought that was dope. Yeah. We talk about Ska uh, being about, you know, like, you know, it, it, intermingling of the different, different backgrounds and different races. Right. But then all, I also loved um, Oh Girl. I think that might have been one of my favorite tracks. Um, it's like straight reggae almost. Um, yeah. And um, I don't know. It just hit the pocket. Hit the sweet spot for me for some reason. But also All Dem A Try. Yeah. I gave me like bounty killer vibes. <laughs> you know what someone, I'm talking someone, about? You know, someone told me that, you know. I, for a second, I was like, "Is that Cooley, or did he get some other guy?" That sounds like <laughs> Bounty Killer. This Jamaican girl told me that. She said, "You sound like Bounty Killer." I was like, "Oh, what?" Of course. I mean, that's a you know, that's, that's a, a big compliment. Thank that's you. a compliment. So yeah, next time you go to karaoke, you know what to pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Let me see. What's up, Jack Sampson? How you doing? Um. Yes, Yoya says Yoya's dad likes Yellow Man. Well, Yoya, your dad has good taste. <laughs> there was this sugar. I'm just gonna talk about this random Sugar Mino CD. I always call them Sugar Mino because I don't freaking know them. And and um, he it was it was called um, all kind of dawn. All kind of dawn. We are all kind of done. All kind of done. Hey, you're all kind of done. <laughs> Hear me now. And he goes, and then he goes, and so it was like an all kind of done rhythm, right? Yeah. It's a we. It's a. It's an obscure album. I only ever saw it on a CD, 
and then they use the rhythm and different people go on it and do their well, own thing. That's the way. That's the way. It's called it's called versions. Right. Like Bam yeah. Bam it's murder. Yeah, everybody everybody gets a chance. You know. Because um, you have it. some you have some well also they, they don't just call it that versions. Nowadays they call it juggling. So you it's a juggling rhythm that everybody gets to to play. So they wouldn't just have one song on it, they'd have a mini on it, so you juggle it. And so it's interesting because I guess they'd sort of do it on one record and so there's not really a copyright issue because it's one producer sort of project. Correct. Correct. Um but it's 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 it is interesting to me how in reggae the the boundaries between like the copyright boundaries are fur are fuzzy. Um sort of like how people can sample and reference songs in hip hop. Um, yeah. But it's even more because there'll be just so many different kinds of, you know, my conversation, you know, that song, my con yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. all these and there's like a million versions of it. And some of them are the same lyrics and some are different. And some of them are like as a, a dub or um, and it's just interesting how things spiral off fractally, you know. Yeah, they have their own system here, man. I mean, it's it's, it's it hasn't really been organized in a way as, as it is you know, in the States or England or other countries like that. But it allows you to be creative without any restriction, you know what I mean? Like, if you hear a track that you really like and go ahead and you, you do it again, that gives you a little bit of more freedom to express yourself rather than just uh, having to do it one way or you know, one song being played on one track. It's, it gives you a little freedom. Ball, uh, totally. Ballers, I'm sure, I'm sorry I didn't have the chat box going. But, um, no so, Cooley, are you going to do any shows in support of your new album? And it, and it, you didn't answer my question. Is there going to be vinyl? Well, vinyl is is a, a, it's a tricky business. I've been speaking to a couple of um, record labels, and this the consensus is people shout vinyl, but people don't buy vinyl. So, what I would probably do is do a Kickstarter if, if they wanted yes. wanted it on if they wanted it on vinyl then I'll I'll put you know a Kickstarter a GoFundMe and then I'll do the vinyl. That's but, a great um, idea. Then, then then I should do it you know start start a um a Kickstarter and then drop a vinyl I, I, I'd be happy to do a vinyl and and I'll be able to put all the liner notes in it everyone that did something you know it's some it's an amazing collaboration of the community yeah that way yes and it would actually and if you 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 know how to do, but if you if you want to um talk to somebody who's done it successfully you know my producer robert did two successful kickstarters um oh, yeah. of vinyl specifically um so oh. i i'm sure he would be happy to chat sure, with you there was a I, lot I, of like things like just thinking about what kind of box you're going to use ahead of time yeah. and not being like keeping everything within a certain dimensions, for example, yeah. you know what I mean? Like if you do yeah. a print, you know, make it, make it the same shape and size as the record so that you don't have to worry about rolling it. You know what I mean? Like you can flatly pack it with your album. Um, but you, you could do all kinds of cool stuff. I could, you know what I think you should do Cooley is, for your super deluxe version, you should um, include a stencil of the um, a stencil of some kind. Like if it was a pilfer's record, it would be a pilfer stencil, so people could spray paint it someplace. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, you know, wasn't that a cool idea? Like the you know, like so it's like cool. a it's like a thing that they could. Big D did something like that. It was like a cardboard sleeve that you could mm. punch out the letters and then you could spray paint it. Oh, um, that's funny. Could, I like yeah, that. you could use it as a as a spray paint stencil. I don't know. I just think that would work with your aesthetic. And I started saying it, thinking about the Pilfers logo, and that. And then halfway through the sentence, I realized this is a Cooley Ranks record, and it's probably not a Pilfers logo record. But no, still, it won't, it won't have a Pilfers logo on it. But you know, it's the but, same. It's the same tree, just yeah, a different branch. Exactly, exactly. And then, you know, you have all kinds of bonus things, right? Ballers, if you're a Cooley Ranks fan, post in the comments or in the in the chat what you would want in a Cooley Ranks album Kickstarter, like as a benefit, you know? 
And then Cooley, you make it like a thing. Like if somebody po if somebody contributes, you know, a yeah. hefty a hefty amount, they're an executive producer on the record. You know, if they give oh, you five, great. if they give you five or ten grand, then they they they're the executive producer on the record. You know, and That's they funny. get a yeah. and they get and they get a listen to the to the um they get to listen to the what do you call it the the test pressing with you and yeah. you know and all that stuff. A, and for the audience, maybe I'll drop a, another song that's not on the record. Right. Yes, exactly. You have like an extra track, yada, yada, I have, yada. I have extra tracks to go on it. I just didn't put everything on there. I well, have, then I, you I stretch have goal tracks. it, man. Stretch goal it. If you make a certain amount, you do you do a seven inch with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying like you can do it and you can do it. You can start small and make it manageable. And then, you know, and be realistic about what your goals are, you know, because it, it's it co it costs a lot to press vinyl, so you got to oh, master right. it and everything else. You got to master it for vinyl. And um, I'm sorry, I'm doing all the talking, Cooley. That's fine. Listen, I'm this. I'm 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 a student of the game, brother. I'm always. I, with, I don't know a heck of a lot about it, but I do know that I did a Kickstarter. I did a Kickstarter and I met my goal and shipped out the records. You know, you got I'm a copy that. of the package. You saw what the package was. Oh, didn't you? Didn't it got disappeared from the mail room? Didn't it? It got swiped from the mail from the post office. Didn't it? Do you remember oh. that? It oh, it did. Yeah. The first time you oh, appeared yeah, on the I show, I sent you a care package yes, with a record and yes, a T-shirt yes, and stuff. Yes. It was oh, the deluxe yes, version yes, of my yes, Kickstarter. Yes. That was what it was. Oh, and it, yes. So anyway, yes, I, you was... could have seen it, but those cursed... And I'm sure they didn't even appreciate it. <laughs> All right, ballers. I can tell you guys are bored because I'm not seeing any chat, so I don't know what that means. Let me turn on my phone. Maybe something's gone wrong here. And you're actually chatting with me, and I'm just not seeing it for some darn reason. There's five people watching it and I'm watching an ad now. Alright, let's go to Chuckle Balls, guys. Ballers, you can always find parking behind Chuckle Balls because you know That's right. We're here at Chuckle Balls. And um, Super Ball, you can let everybody in. Super Ball is the bouncer coolie. Super Ball. All right, here, let me move. You can get comfortable there. Let me, there you go. And Ballers, we have dad jokes here, Cooley, and I'm going to go through them. There's, they're pretty good. We have some Ballers here, but I'm not seeing the chat for some darn reason. Um, chat for me, Ballers, if you're in the chat. All right, let me give you one, Cooley. Ballers, I got drinks for everyone. It's in your cool, your fridge or your... Uh, 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 there you go. No one's talking, Duck Duck. Thank you, Duck Duck. All right, Duck Duck. This one's first is going out to Duck Duck. Duck Duck. The radio in Arkansas sucks, man. They only have a little rock. <laughs> they only have a little rock. Get it? Can I tell a dad joke about myself? Um, let's see here. Yeah, um, Jack Sampson. To be frank, I'd have to change my name. <laughs> that's, about, <laughs> that's about me, right? I got a laugh from you on both of those, Cooley, I think. You like those? Yeah. All right, hold on, Cooley. This one goes out to you, man. I wrote a Peter Tosh joke, but they didn't legalize it. <laughs> and then, so then I wrote a Bob Marley joke to stir it up. <laughs> I think I got a double laugh of you. A reggae theme joke because you're in Jamaica. How is your tri trip to Jamaica going? Is it fun? Are you having fun? Are you doing music there or just I'm actually um, the studio right below me. I should be going to the studio at any moment now. It, no yeah. way, really? Are you record? You so you're recording music? Yes. Oh, that's great. Do you have a, a band 
that that's playing there, or do you have backing track already recorded? So the way the way I do things, um, I record a lot of stuff in New York City, then I come down here, and my um my mentor is a, a super duper producer, so he he plays every instrument, and, and he's also an engineer. So I come down here, and he puts all of the icing on the top of the cake. Wow, that's great. Yeah, so I've I've already actually finished another project already. I finished it from last year. I'm just here to um, supervise and make sure it gets um, it gets done, and then oh, um, cool. probably record two, maybe three more tracks while I'm here. And do you ever like you know collab find people to collaborate with? You know, go out to the clubs and you're like, that guy's freaking amazing, and you're like, to be honest with you, I came here. Record? The last time I was here was um, I'm not sure, but it was a while ago, and I did find an artist, but he actually came from England, and he's one of my favorite. Um, Cool. Jamaican Jamaican um, artist in in the business right now. His name is Gappy Ranks. So I I called him up and um, he came to the studio and he did some songs with me. So I was really I was, I was thrilled. Did you say his name's Gabby Ranks? Gappy. Cool. Gappy um, Gappy Ranks. So it's like you know, it just has a gap to. Oh yeah, Gappy. Cool yeah. man, that's awesome. So Gappy Ranks and so do you guys have a collaboration coming out? We have two. <clears throat> wow. So that's four ranks between the two collaborations. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Are they going to be on the new, are they going to be like a, a new record? Yeah, yeah, after yeah, this yeah. So this record is probably going to come out at the end of the year. Um, this, 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 chance, this, this chance to die down, then I'll give you another record coming up. Right, this year. right. Of course. Yeah. yeah, we shouldn't get put the card ahead of the horse. Jack Sampson, yes, you can do a dad joke in the form of, like, put it in the comments and I'll read it. I'll deliver it as best I can. And then you can give me com. All right. Paper Bag Man's giving me laughs. And I got an LOL from Jack Sampson. Um, I got, uh, um, so yeah, give me a couple of, tell me if you got laughs, guys. Come on, give me a little. I know we're having a rough Friday night, but, uh. All right, this one goes out to um, Georgia Constitution Media because Georgia Constitution Media's adorable little daughter just got an adorable little cat. And you know what Cooley ranks? You know what she named him? Dennis Ball. Dennis Ball. Oh, wait a second. I'm just going That's right, Dennis Ball. Aww. And so, um, And so this one goes out to you. Do you know why and to your daughter and to Dennis Ball the cat. Do you know why cats go after laser pointers? Georgia Constitution Media? They're trying to get a light snack. Because <laughs> 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 they want to they want a snack on that little bit of red light. <laughs> um, okay. George, Jack, give me the punchline in there. Because there's such a lag. You got to do it sort of. Put it all in there at once and I'll read it. Okay, just give me the punchline now, okay, and I'll wait for it to come through. <laughs> All right, here's here's a good one. Let me see. This one's going out to Paper Bag Man. Paper Bag Man, I bought lettuce from Mama and Papa's grocery, but I can't eat it. You know why? Because all the leaves are brown. <laughs> Mama and Papa's grocery. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. Um, all right. I'll give that a laugh from Co Cooley Ranks. I thought that was also funny. That's um, a good one. That is good. I'm like, because I'm like picking and choosing jokes, I'm like doing them totally out of order. So I think I have, I have one left. I have mm -hmm. one left. It's a good one. Okay. Jack Sampson's like, what's quit? What's Dennis Ball's favorite Marvin Gaye song? Um, you sure love to ball. <laughs> you could also, uh, I could, you could also say after the. No, that's it's not after the ball. It's after the dance. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of funny. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate you doing a theme joke for me. All right, so this one goes out to um, you, Jack, because you gave me a joke. What do you call a detective who just like sort of solves cases accidentally? Sheer luck, Holmes. <laughs> Sheer luck. Sheer luck. <laughs> He's solving them through sheer luck. 
nothing else. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on over here, Cooley Ranks. I'm getting some laughs from the people in the chat. I think there's some sort of disconnect. Either people aren't feeling like chatting or like some of the chats are just not, it's like a delay. Paper Bag Man says he loves burritos and gives me a laugh. Thank you, Paper Bag Man. All right, now we're going to have a quick message from the Dennis Ball Corporation, and then we're going to react to some cool pictures I found online this week. I'm an entertainer, man. Function or if he's really fled the scene. I'm here. You're here, Cooley. I can't see you, yeah. man. Hold on. Let me make sure that I didn't like put you in behind the thing or some silliness. I might have put you behind the beach. Oh, I did. Look. Boom. There you are. <laughs> All right. Hold on a minute. Let me get you fixed up here. Let me get you fixed up. Sorry, Cooley. All right. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, I don't need to put your name there because everyone knows who you are by now. All right, so this is how this works. You've been on the show before, Cooley. We're well, going to show dif different memes, and we're going to say they're cool or drool. Okay. Um, thank you, Paper Bot. Thank you, Paper Bag Man. I am proud of that song, actually. It was all That's Roger cool. Revis. You know, it's 99% Roger Revis and 1% Dennis Ball. <laughs> Man, he's a talented guy. Have you worked with him, Cooley? I have, actually. Um, not not in a sense of the studio, but we actually did a, a DJ set at uh, Supernova last year, uh, the year before. And he's been really on my cool. show, too. He's been, he's been on my show as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a good a very guy. Cool guy. Very cool guy. He's a very cool guy. Um, all right, so these are these punk or drunk? Are they cool or drool? Are they fab or drab? Are you ready, ballers? I got a couple of laughs from Paper Bag Man. Thank you so much. All right, burritos are okay. I like burritos. Um, oh, I'm going to point out something, ballers. We have a new channel called Dad Jokes from Chuckle Balls. It's just the dad joke segments. We have five subscribers as of right now, but uh, every day, every Friday after this show at 10 o'clock, I'll drop like an old dad joke thing. They're like five to 10 minutes long. It's just the dad minute dad joke segment, but they're fun. So yeah, subscribe to that channel. All right. Ready? Um, here's a good one. Cooley. Okay. This is hard times news, which is like, you know, punk rock, the onion. You know, yes. Fr and this is relevant to you because you just released an album. Friend skims few seconds of album you worked on for nine years. <laughs> Look at her dismissively, coolly <laughs> skipping through your record. How dare she? <laughs> your record's good, man. There's not a lot of fat. There's not a lot of fat. It's it's lean and mean it actually clocks in at less than 40 minutes i believe oh cool um which means it would fit on a vinyl fit on a record all right oh, anyway um what did you think was that cool or drool that was cool i yeah i i, I think so too i actually really like the hard times news i i would love to have somebody from that on the show i end up using them every week almost i hope they don't mind here comes the sun. 
Shut the F up. The sun's not the one moving. Here comes the you. Gently weeping guitar noises. <laughs> so it's like a Beatles one and a science one, Cooley. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. I, I, I think that's cool, too. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Paper Bag Man. Um, this is one's interesting, guys. Painting the bottom of your pool red instead of blue so you can have Dracula's hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Do you think that's really what it looks like, or do you think that's Photoshopped? I think it, that's what it looks like. That is crazy, right? That's pretty weird. If you painted the... if you, So I, I, I think that's cool, but I think it would be strange to swim in it. Yeah. Be cool for a Halloween party. Absolutely. Um, all right, Yo Yan Paper Bag Man. Thank you for cooling, you guys, because it's I think it's like just us. It's a light night tonight. I think a lot of people are out of town. Here's another hard times news one. Gen Z -er refers to album that saved your life as content. <laughs> Quote unquote content. <laughs> um uh, first of all, let me just say that I don't want to slam Gen Zers. A lot of my best friends are Gen Zers, and I think they're great people. So I think they got to get a bum, a bum rap. However, I think it is funny that they say somebody would refer to the album that saved your life as content. <laughs> so I give it a laugh. Do you give it a cool or a drool? I give it a cool one. You can, give, you can also, if you don't like one, I say you can, drool. You can drool it, you know. Yeah. But I actually did pick some pretty good ones for you, Cooley. Um, here's here's one. The view inside a cello. It looks <laughs> like you're in a room, I right? I can see it. Yep, yep, I can see it. Uh, but it at first it looks like you're actually in like a like a room. Yeah, it looks like I a room. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. Um, they're not memes, ballers. I, I should change that. It's mostly stuff I found on Reddit, to be brutally honest. <laughs> um, all right, we got a couple more here. Um, I don't know if you... Do, do you know Studio Ghibli, Howl's Moving Castle? Have you ever seen that movie, Howl's Moving Castle? All right, so ballers, if you know that, I'm going to show it anyway in case the ballers know it. It's an anime movie. You'll get the context, though, just from reading the thing. Men will literally live in a moving castle and transform into a giant bird instead of going to therapy. <laughs> you can drool it. You don't know it, so. Okay, drool it. I'm, I'm, I, I liked that one quite a bit. Um, okay, because you know the thing. You've got more context to it. Exactly. Uh, we got Paper Bag Man says that's your apartment. The, the cello is your apartment? That's cool. <laughs> It's probably noisy when the cellist practices and small. All right, now you know how they pronounce pho. You know, like the the Vietnamese soup. It's pronounced. It, it's spelled like pho, like P H O, but it's pronounced pho. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so it's pronounced pho. So I mean, this <laughs> restaurant is called pho. King, I I took this picture. I took this picture in Atlanta because I was like, "Am I dreaming, or is that restaurant called Fuck King?" Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> and I thought that was cool. That's cool. And the owner has a sense of humor about it and stuff. I think that's actually brilliant. You know, it's a good marketing move. You know, yeah. it's like being having a, a couch store called Sofa King. You know. Sofa King good, Sofa King this, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sofa King. All right, hold on. I got some more here. Um, I got three more ballers. It, this one is um, very Jamaican-themed almost, or it's tropical vacation-themed. Pilates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of pirates, <laughs> and it's Pilates. All right. Um, 
That's a jewel for me. Okay, you can drool it. I'll cool it, but you can drool it. I'm cooling it because I chose it. All right, here's another one. <laughs> All right, this one, I don't know if you can see this, Cooley. This was on budget audio file. It's like two, it's like two quarter inch like headphone jacks. Uh -huh. And they've soldered the the little segments together with little teeny wires. <laughs> so it's like, you know, the stereo, it's like they get stereo transmission mm -hmm. there. And then it's zip tied together. What's the purpose? I don't even know. I mean, honestly, it could be a piece of art as far as I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean that's actually the one of the only things I could say. All right then, but um, it was on. I, I mean, unless you absolutely had to MacGyver it, and there was no absolutely no other way. Because I mean, there's a million other things you could do in this situation. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Anyway, it's drool worthy, huh? Yeah. You can drool it. All right, here's the last one, and I saved the best for last. Like they say in that song. Like that lady sang. All right, ready? <laughs> I don't know who this dog is or why he's banned from this park, but he certainly ah. seems like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that look like a great dog? Look at him. Yeah, wine, cigar. <laughs> Skateboarding. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and a gun. And a gun. Does he have a gun? He has a gun right there. Oh my goodness, he really does. He has a gun right under there, underneath the, the skateboard and the one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Paper bag man's given me tons and tons. I have to acknowledge all the smiley faces paper bag man has put in the chat. Paper bag man and yo ya. I I could just sit here digging all night, but I'm not going to because it's going to get tedious. But thank you for all of the positive reinforcement. Cooley ranks. Thanks for coming out, man. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And thank, thank you. Thank you for having me on this show. And ballers, make sure you check out Cooley's record. It's really, it really is good. I listened to it twice, um, <laughs> back to back, which I did not need to do. Cooley ranks. I did it thank because you. I loved it. <laughs> thank you. So I'm looking forward to the Kickstarter, which I'll help promote in any way I can. Yeah, but if um, you want... definitely have that guy get in contact with me because I know nothing about that. Nothing. Yes, I, I will I, I will tell him to get in, in touch with you. Um, I'm sure he'd be happy to help out. Ballers, have a great weekend. Thanks for coming by this evening. One love. And um, have a wonderful weekend. And a one, and a two. One, two, three. And it's fall, and it's fall. Just a lamb. Possum Kingdom Ramblers, Bambi, Ricky, Jazz. It's a real Dennis.